Okay everyone, in this video I will show you how you can find the old notifications on your iPhone that you perhaps swiped away by accident. And yeah, it's a bit more complicated, it doesn't work as simply, but there are some ways how you can get them back or at least find out what was going on. Because if you swipe down to the notification panel, which is also the lock screen, it could have happened that you get to the notifications like this, and if they disappear, you can st still go ahead and just grab it anywhere and swipe up. I just held down a little bit, so just swipe up quickly, and you can see no older notifications. So in case you have something available or something that you have swiped away, then you're going to be able to see it in here. So you can have some kind of notifications which just disappeared from the lock screen or notification panel. If you swipe up like this, you will get to this section and perhaps you will see them once again. So something to pay attention to, something to keep in mind. And the first thing to try out is to swipe up like this to see if you cannot find anything. But besides that, there are some alternative methods through the settings at least. Well, because if you don't even have this to turn on or enabled in the settings in the notification section, what you have to do is to make sure that you have um, the displaying properly because this method which I've shown you previously is only available when you have it like stack, when it's stacked at the bottom. But when it's when you sw switch it to a list, it's not going to disappear from anywhere, chances are, and it's going to take up more parts of the screen, so it's actually going to be visible much more to you. Or you can have it at count, which just only shows you how many notifications you have, but without any additional details. So it's up to you to decide how exactly you want to have it. But of course, what you have to do and what you can do is to ensure that app icon badges are turned on to easily identify apps with notifications. Because sometimes perhaps you just forgot or you just swiped away the stuff from the lock screen and when you come back to the home screen, no apps is, are indicating that the notifications are there. So what you have to do as you are still in the settings, scroll down and make sure that you enable badges for all of the important apps. For example, for FaceTime, when I click it, I have badges enabled. So even if I swipe it away from the lock screen, even if I just get rid of the FaceTime notification, I can still go ahead and look it up on my home screen and see that FaceTime is going to have a badge in the upper right corner with the number on it, seeing that I have like missed calls and everything. So I would recommend you for all of the important apps to enable the badges just so you know that you have some notifications, even if you swipe them away. So that's an option as well. And the another option is identifying uh, or accessing notifications from apps. Like if you somewhat suppose that you have some notifications that you have swiped away from the lock screen, you want to get back to them. You can still, for example, open up some different apps. Like let's say that you suppose that you have some TikTok notifications. You can open up the app like this and just go to the inbox section and you can find all of the um, notifications here which are going to be accessible to you. So um, you can see business system notifications, activities, new followers and stuff. So you can always just check it out in here. I have one notification there. So even if I swiped it away from the lock screen, as I say, it is still going to appear inside of my actual app where it belongs. So definitely check it out within the app as well. But these are basically all the things and all the settings, changes and tweaks you can perform on your iPhone to get to the all the notifications that you have missed or swept away. So that's how it works. There isn't much else what I could show you, but there is, however, and it is the Foxtech educational platform. It is free to join by the link down below in the description. And in the classroom section, you can watch basically all of the courses like on video editing, in-depth iPhone guides. How can you set up the iPhone properly? Everything fully explained and more content being added. I'm currently working on the full guide to Dynamic Island and the best apps you can download for that. So definitely something to stick around for. And for now, thanks a lot. And I will see you guys in the next videos as well as on the educational platform. So go ahead and check it out right now. I will wait for you inside. Thanks a lot. See you guys later.